Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract mixed fractions and fraction. So the first thing we need to do is we need to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Now improper fractions are those fractions in which the number in the numerator is greater than the number in the denominator. And when we convert mixed fraction into fractions, we always end up with an improper fraction. So to convert this into a fraction, first of all, we're going to multiply the whole part with the fraction's denominator. So whole part is 5 and the fraction's denominator is 3. So we're going to multiply 5 and 3 first. So 5 times 3 gives 15. And then whatever we get, we add that to the numerator. So 15 plus 2 is going to give us 17. So the numerator will be 17 now, and we're not going to change the denominator. The denominator will still remain 3. Then we have to take away 4 fifths from this. Now we cannot subtract these fractions because the denominators are different. So now we need to make the denominators equal. To do that, we'll have to find the least common multiple of the denominators. The least common multiple of 3 and 5 is going to be 15. So usually you get the least common multiple when you multiply your denominators. So I multiplied 3 and 5 and I got 15. So I said that the least common multiple of 3 and 5 is going to be 15. But in some cases, you cannot just multiply the denominators and find the least common multiple. So I'll show you a different strategy which will work in all the cases. So to do that, to find the least common multiple, I'm going to list down the multiples of 3 and 5. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. The multiples of 5 will be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Now I'm looking for the least common multiple, the number which is common in both and which is the smallest in all. And I see that 15 is common in both of them and it's the smallest. So I know that the least common multiple is going to be 15. So this strategy of finding the least common multiple will always work. Now I'm going to use the least common multiple to make the denominators equal. I know that my denominators should be 15. The denominators of my new fraction should be 15. Now how do I make my denominators equal to 15? So I'm going to take my original fraction here, 17 over 3, and I want my denominator to be 15. To get from 3 to 15, I would have to multiply my denominator by 5 because 3 times 5 gives me 15. Now if I multiply my denominator by 5, I will also have to multiply my numerator by 5 to keep my fraction balanced. 17 times 5 gives me 85. So now, these two are the equivalent fractions. 17 over 3 is equal to 85 over 15. So I can replace this fraction 17 over 3 with 85 over 15. So this is going to be 85 over 15. I replace this fraction with 85 over 15. And now I'm going to repeat the same process with this fraction. This fraction is 4 fifths and I want my denominator to be 15. To get from 5 to 15, I would have to multiply my denominator by 3. Now if I multiply my denominator by 3, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 3 to keep my fraction balanced. Now 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Now these two are equal in fractions. They are equal to each other. So I can replace 4 fifths with 12 over 15. So in place of 4 fifths, I'm going to write 12 over 15. And now notice that I have the same denominators. Now we can go ahead and subtract the fractions. So to subtract the fractions when the denominators are equal, all we need to do is to subtract the numerators. So 85 minus 12 will give me 73. And then we never subtract the denominators. So the denominator is going to stay same, 15. Now you see that 
this is an improper fraction. My numerator is greater than the denominator. So I would have to convert this into a mixed fraction. I cannot leave my answer in this form. So to convert this into a mixed fraction, I'll use the long division method. So we're going to divide 73 by 15. 15 will divide into 73 four times. 15 times 4 is going to be 60. And then we can go ahead and subtract this. 73 minus 60 is going to be 30. Now this is my remainder. Now I'll write this in the form of mixed fraction. To do that, first of all, I need to write my quotient. My quotient becomes my whole number. Because if you look at the mixed fraction, mixed fraction is made up of whole number and a fraction. So you need the whole number and a fraction. So 4 is going to be my whole part. That becomes my whole number. And then I will use my remainder and divisor to write the fractional part. So my remainder becomes the fraction's numerator and divisor becomes the fraction's denominator. So my final answer is going to be 4 and 13 over 15. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.